Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. The information contained within this podcast does not consider your personal circumstances and is of a general nature only. You should not act on it without first obtaining professional financial advice specific to your circumstances. Paul Atherton is an ex-Wall Street advisor on a mission to help young people win back their financial power, wealth and security. He does this by helping them understand the hidden world of finance, risk and investments, helps them figure out how it impacts them and to seize the opportunities to make it work to their advantage. This is Paul Street Journal. I'm here with Paul Atherton. How are you this morning? Hi Tim. Yeah, I'm well. That's good to hear. Lately, I've been feeling a little bit depressed about my finances, Paul, I must admit. You know, I don't earn too much, just work part-time and I'm a student and I feel like I could do more if I earned more. You know, I'm sure that you come across quite a few people in your practice that, you know, feel this way. Um, what would you, what do you say to them to help them? Well, I guess, first of all, I think what I like to tell people is uh, feeling depressed, confused and overwhelmed is incredibly common, perhaps even standard, which I find to be unfortunate and a little troubling because there's no need to feel this way. And uh, as I've mentioned before, wealth and wealth accumulation should not be just for the wealthy or the elite. Everyone, you know, everyone, from a young uni grad to a single mom or to a couple that's just ready for retirement, they all deserve security, financial freedom, and yeah, of course, wealth. What I would like your listeners to know, with a very few small changes, wealth can be there for them as well. You see, I think... For the most part, a person's well-being, uh, either their health or their wealth. Now, we know all those annoying people that have hit the genetic jackpot and they just stay slim, doesn't matter what they eat. We know that's true. We, we know those people. But for wealth, and this is a great thing, everyone can hit the, that jackpot. It's available to everyone. Now, a lot of people in finance like to make it very confusing and overwhelming so that only the elite and only the the best can have that uh, wealth advantage. But it's not. It's not. It should be for everyone. And with some small changes and a few little moves, everybody can partake in this wealth. Everybody can have the six-pack of wealth, I like to say. So what would you suggest that you know, I do and, and our listeners do um, in, in this situation? Well, so I have... Uh, three tasks and seven rules for wealth. And I I think perhaps just for this episode, we'll go for the the tasks, what to do. So the first of the three tasks is to declutter. Now, when I take on clients and go through people's finances, the first thing I see is an enormously complex financial world. So somebody that's been involved in finance for over 20 years, all the way in Wall Street, I have the most simple portfolio. So if we were going down a lift in an elevator, you would know, I could tell you my portfolio on one or two floors, no problem. But for people I see on the average guy or average Joe or average Jane, my gosh, that's very complex. It's very difficult. So I say consolidate, just clean out the mess, consolidate your loans. Don't have three credit card debts, debt on your car and a debt personal loan and a house loan. Consolidate it and you can do this so that you only have one loan you're paying back, and usually at a lower interest rate. I also see people with loads of super, superannuation here, superannuation there, some earning this, some earning that. It's mad, it's no need for that, so consolidate your super. And for budgeting purposes, consolidate your spending. It's not hard again, there are loads of available online tools which you can simplify your spending. And the great thing is, is if you do a quick little audit, and I'm talking, you know, have a coffee with, your mate or your partner or anyone or just by yourself, sit down, write out what you're spending it on, and I guarantee this happens every single time. Without fail, you'll find you're spending on something that you didn't realize. You actually, and something that you don't need. And they're the first things to cut out. So declutter is the first part. The second is de-risk. Everyone over time will have built up unnecessary risk. And it's just a fact of life. It's like the unintended garden. What might seem like a great one-time, you know, investment at one time in light of new information might be very risky. And that's life. You know, random events happen. Unseen events are just part of life. But what we can do is look at our investment, say, hey, am I taking on unnecessary risk? And I've said this before. I think people think they're diversified. 
think that they're stable and diversified, but they're nowhere near it. You know, I, I talk about the triple leverage here, that they've got a big loan out to the bank, their super annuation is invested in banks, and um, if there were a crisis, the taxpayers will be paying for the banks. There's triple leveraging. You can get out. You know, you, there are ways. That's a big world. Access different markets. So that's a de-risk. And the final is build. So you've decluttered, you've de-risk, and now you build. So this is where we look for opportunities. You know, we've consolidated our world. Now, our, you know, our loans, our spending, our investments are really simplified. But we can build from there. Um, and one of the best places to do this is usually is debt. You know, every dollar that you pay down, say for a credit card, maybe 20, 30% interest. So that, that is equivalent of getting 20, 30% per annum back for every dollar you spend paying off your credit card. But there are other places, of course. You know, if you invest for the long term on the stock market, I mean, if you get 10% returns, so if you put $1,000 down and you got 10% returns, I mean, the, the, the returns are just, well, quite frankly, staggering. And even starting from a small amount. Well, that gives me a bit of confidence. Thank you, Paul, for coming in. No problem, Tim. You shouldn't feel depressed. We'll get you there. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Paul Street Journal. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.